Elevated privileges mean that the built-in administrator can do anything that your own user-created admin account can do, but it won't be prompted by user account control UAC, when making key changes to the system. It's therefore recommended that you keep this built-in administrator account disabled, but you can also take one small step to further increase your PC's security, rename the built-in administrator account. Because all Windows PCs from the last decade have an account called Administrator, hackers and malware know exactly which account credentials to try during a security breach. But if you change the name of your built-in Administrator account, you can potentially foil a hack or hijack of your PC. Here's how to change the name of the built-in Administrator account. Click Start. Type gpedit.msc in the search box and press enter, or click gpedit.msc. With the local group policy editor now open on the desktop, turn your attention to the nested list on the left side of the window and navigate to the following location. Computer Configuration, Windows Settings, Security Settings, Local Policies, Security Options. In the list on the right side of the window, Find Accounts, Rename Administrator Account listed near the top. Double click it to open that policy setting. As we discussed earlier, the Settings Explain tab reveals why you may want to change the built-in Administrator Account name. Renaming the well-known Administrator Account makes it slightly more difficult for unauthorized persons to pass this privileged username and password combination. You can also now close the local group policy editor, as your built-in administrator account name has been successfully changed, slightly increasing the security of your PC. Note that you can also change the name of the built-in guest account using the local group policy editor, although the need to do so is a bit less than the administrator account, as the guest account has limited privileges. Thank you for watching.